Uh, by the way, to see a film that just got an A in Entertainment Weekly, just a second. Yeah, like, an hour and a half ago. Yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, really recent, right. Super recently. Are you guys, who, how many people are stoned right now? Are you all stoned? <laughs> Yeah, so pretty good crowd, like a lot of laughs. That yeah, was a great film. It wasn't that. It was a great film. That's why it's so good. Yeah, super stoned people. I mean, it feels. I mean, it's overwhelming. It's awesome. We we watched this movie for the first time in the little building ten years ago, and would work on effects and stuff, and making our movies like a block away from here. The people that are in the crowd right now. We would see movies here all the time. Every Friday night, we'd see movies here. This is just super weird, but right. kind of awesome. Right. Hey, how you guys have known each other since you were like twelve or something, right? So, how did it all start when you were really younger? I I, I remember reading that you were in three film festivals before you were eighteen, or by the time you were eighteen. So, what did you do even when you were like super young to get this going? I think we were both pretty ambitious when we were kids. Dave, I think, knew really early on that he wanted to do visual effects. And I knew when I was like really little, like three or four or five, that I just loved movies and wanted to make them. And I would just make things. I was, I just couldn't, I was myopic and I would get super <laughs> depressed and weird if I wasn't constantly making things to remind myself that I could make things. Mm -hmm. So in high school, I would make movies every day after school with like a little video camera, you know, and I would in camera edit them. And there was nowhere to show them. I would just show them to my parents who sometimes hated them and sometimes liked them. They were pretty harsh critics. Um, and a film camp, I went to film camp in college, but I met him through his brother, and Dave was like doing effects, and I was doing movies, and he was like, you should be my brother, you can do cool opening titles for your little movies. And I was like, that's great. That's great, I'll go to Tayasset and do some special effects with Dave. And then Dave had all these computers in his room, and he was just teaching himself how to do this as I was teaching myself how to do it. Right, right. So, you got a room full of people here who probably all would love to be where you are in you know, five or ten years. So what would you tell them? Yeah, make some friends and keep just making things. I mean, it's sort of like cliche and, you know, Steve Jobs just sort of like dying and his whole Stanford speech being like on the internet everywhere. It's really just... Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a number four. I was pitching an idea of very Harold and Kumar Passover where they're just looking for the Afikoman all night long. <laughs> Zero people like that idea. This is the best reaction it's gotten so far. Um, I don't know if there's going to be a fourth one. It depends how it does this weekend. Will you all go see it again? Yes, you will. Yeah. And we, I mean, a lot of friends worked on this movie. You know, Dave is from Emerson. Uh, the Heavens bartenders are comedy troupe kids from Emerson. Evan and Gareth, who helped me punch up and rewrite the script. Uh, Dan Levy, who's the paparazzi guy, was a Jimmy 